what would you do if a global ceo insulted you in a business deal right in front of your team this is exactly what ratan tata faced and his response is worthwhile a story to hear it was wisdom straight from the bhagavad gita this video is a tribute to padma bhushan shri ratan tata whom we lost recently let's hear the story of how he turned humiliation into victory with grace stay tuned in the year 1999 ratan tata made a significant decision to sell tata motors passenger car division to ford at that time tata motors car division especially tata indica was not doing well it was severely struggling it was facing lot of losses and it didn't find much success in the market so ratan tata along with his team members flew to detroit to meet ford's leadership team to explore the possibility of selling their car division during the meeting bill ford the then chairman of ford insulted ratan tata in front of his team members he said you do not know anything about the car business why did you start the car business in the first place we will be doing a favor by buying your car division this comment deeply hurt ratan tata but still he maintained his composure this was a moment of both personal as well as professional adversity for ratan tata however instead of reacting with anger or frustration or allowing the insult to sabotage his self confidence ratan tata remained calm and composed the deal didn't go through and tata's team returned to india without selling the car business instead of being discouraged ratan tata decided to continue improving his business and redoubled his efforts he focused on improving the quality the design and performance of tata motors cars and just few years later in the year 2008 that was the time when ford itself was struggling and facing bankruptcy and tata motors acquired two iconic brands from ford that was none other than jaguar and land rover the same bill ford who had once mocked tata publicly thanked him during the deal saying that you are doing a big favor by buying jaguar and land rover ratan tata did not act out of revenge or ego or pride he handled the situation very calmly and respectfully even though he had the upper hand this time by maintaining his equanimity in both failure and success he embodied the principle of having a steady and balanced mind and this is exactly 
what is mentioned in the shloka from the bhagavad gita chapter 2 verse 56 which says one who is not disturbed in mind even amidst the threefold miseries or overjoyed when there is happiness and who is free from attachment fear and anger is a is called a sage of steady mind this essence of this verse is the ability to stay calm in adversity like when the ford deal failed it didn't happen and not to overly react to success like when tata motors acquired jaguar and land rover rather tata showed resilience and emotional balance through both hardships and victory that exactly is a practical example right from the teaching of the bhagavad gita his action showed that he was not driven by ego revenge or attachment to the outcome instead he stayed focused on doing his duty his karma improving tata motors and accepting success and failure with equanimity and that's exactly what the bhagavad gita encourages this video is just a small effort of decoding the bhagavad gita and explaining this ancient wisdom to help overcome modern life challenges i have also created a whatsapp group wherein i share a lot of teachings from the bhagavad gita if you are interested to join my community please feel free to call or whatsapp me on this number plus 919371093246 i hope you have liked this video please do press the like button share this video with your family and friends comment and let me know your thoughts on the same and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video till the end thank you